Morning traders, and this is your South African Top 40 Aussie daily review. So what we're looking for is some daily trade setups. Anyway, um, we had a 500 point gap down and straight into this area of uh, support here. And again, GT24 printing candles which uh, don't exist. And this was looking actually pretty good right up until... Uh, well, just before I went to bed when I looked, it was looking all right. Then when you wake up, it's got crap day at 10 again. Anyway, so this level of uh, 48386, that's the actual close. And you can see we've closed in this area of support. Um, and it was resistance. So this is a fairly significant level. If I can just get onto the weekly, you'll see it coincides with a weekly swing low. And there's a couple of weekly swing lows here. Okay, and then you can see these two weeks which are used as uh, resistance. So we've got a, a crossover and a moving to the downside now. F pretty well conf um, defined on the weekly. Okay, now remember Fibonacci is important. Always pay attention to Fibonacci. So we broke through the 50. I mean, yesterday I said to you, you know, the 50 may be an area for us to look for um, some support for some longs. We broke through that and we've come all the way down to the weekly 200 and the buyer stepped in off the weekly 200. Well, actually, no, they haven't. Not yet, sorry, because that's our close there. So we do have the weekly 200. The SMA and EMA is down below and it coincides with the 61.8. So I'm just going to put that level in there. Okay. Um, so this was a fairly strong move, and this has been a quick correction, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to fall to the floor. So it could form a base in this area, this is a logical area for it to form a base, but again this base could be a thousand points by, if you look in the history. Okay, so let's just delete that, um, let's get down, so I'm just going to use the three hour here. You can use the four hour if you want to, um, but I think I'm just going to use the the threes. The stories of threes works very well on the South African market. Okay, so yesterday we pretty much had gap down. We had this nice indecision bar. So you would have thought to break above that would have given us a long, but then obviously we continue to the downside. We've got we had a grouping and a crossover. Oscillators are warning us that we're at a, at a level. Uh, we are pretty much there. You need to ignore this green bar doesn't exist okay so at this stage 500 points down is the next level okay so let's just look to the left we've managed to close this gap and we do have another little gap to the downside here I've got two gaps to the downside still but there are a few levels in between here so uh, so there's one there, there's one there, and we're pretty much hovering on these two swing highs at the moment. Okay, um, let's just adjust that one to there, that swing low there. Okay, so we've got quite a few levels to downside. I um, don't think it's going to be much difference on the hour. We Gap down, fell, up, down. Okay, we've got a nice little um, range at the moment here. So we'll look at that now on the half hour. And let's just get the closing range strategy. There it is there. And range target to downside, pretty close to this level. Second range target, the downside is close to this level here, 47983. And it's interesting that this um, incorrect candle that gets printed every time is a level that gets tagged. Pretty interesting to see. But anyway, um, at this stage, I'm a little bit uncomfortable jumping in short here. I want to see some kind of a 
a, a sort of a pullback or consolidation. So ideally, consolidation would be what we want to look for. Ten cent is flat at the moment. Uh, Rand dollar fourteen forty nine, a bit stronger than what it was yesterday, or Rand's weaker dollar stronger. So that bodes well for a long. And uh, yeah, U.S. markets had a fairly big move down yesterday. So that also needs to be factored in. Uh, S&P was down 1%. NASDAQ was down 1.5%. Dow was down 1.1% um, as well. So that needs to be factored in still as well. So I don't think a lot of that was factored in at our close. Okay, so I suspect we are probably going to get another little squirt down and pick up one of these levels here. So for me today, I'm just going to watch the closing range strategy. If it does gap down, um, well, I don't think it will gap down. Well, it may gap down. It's hard, to, it's hard to anticipate at the moment because uh, U.S. markets are recovering ever so slightly. So it may just open flat. Um, but that's the range to be be watching. So get down to, uh, you probably get down to like a five minute chart and you'll see five minute chart you can see staying below, staying below. There's, you can see your trend, boom. Now the trend has crossed over. Now what you're looking to see if it is a break, um, the breakout of the trend to the upside. If you do get it, will you break the upside? Look for the range targets, okay? Um, and you may actually get ambushed before the range target looking at this consolidation here. But that's what you want to be aiming for, which is 48.781. Okay, we do break the downside. Again, look at the levels. First level to watch is 48.189. Second level would be the range target, which is 48.127. Okay, so that pretty much the way that I see this at the moment is we're looking uh, to break through this range. Okay, ignore this bar, it doesn't exist. So this is the range we're looking to break through. At this stage, it's down, up, down. So it's one, two, three. It's a triangle view. It's three touches at the moment. I know it's in a square. But it's just the logic I applied to it. So it's one, two, three. And this was a move to the downside. So it's one, two, three. It's either um, a correction, consolidation, uh, one of the two, and a break either side of those two fractals there is what you're looking for. And that is on the six minutes or even on the 12 minute. Got a fractal there, got a fractal there. That's what I'm looking for. And obviously what you're looking for is the height of the range to the upside or the downside and then get out of the trade. Okay, don't try and anticipate that this gap's going to close because the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to tag that level and they're going to get ambushed from that level. So rather look for, I want to see if this range is, oh, it's level we have got it okay so that pretty much what um, the price action that'll happen okay anyway guys um, that's it for me today uh, watching this range break up I'm long taking profit at the range target 48 818 819 and if we break the downside I'm looking to take profit here and that is Uh, 48050 and I don't think I'm going to see something on the low time frames there which is fairly close to this congestion here okay I'm um, not looking for long-term shorts at the moment not while we've got all this congestion to the left okay anyway guys that's it for me today um, whatever you do stay safe watch that uh, first half hour of trading and see what happens whether that um, whether that first half hour stays within this range. Before I go, let me just highlight that. So what you may find is that the first half hour stays in this range, which is pretty much um, the closing range as well. 
So that would bring me inside bar, inside bar, inside bar. So when your f opening range, which is the first half hour trading, coincides or sits inside the previous day's closing range, that just strengthens the fact that you are in a range and the breakout is normally um, a breakout that you can trust to take and hit the levels. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.